We all know that Jesus wept, but did you know that Jesus wept more than once? Let's take a look. Welcome to the Video Worship Guide. Thank you for making this a part of your weekly schedule. Uh, hopefully these are being an encouragement to you as individuals and families to worship God together and abide in God's Word. This week we're going to get back into Luke. Uh, we'll be in Luke chapter 19, a small little passage, verses 41 through 44. So let's begin by reading that. He says, And when he drew near and saw the city, that is Jesus, he wept over it, saying, Would that you, even you, had known on this day the things that make for peace. But now they are hidden from your eyes. For the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up a barricade around you and surround you and hem you in on every side and tear you down to the ground, you and your children within you, and they will not leave one stone upon another in you because you did not know the time of your visitation. At this point, Jesus is approaching Jerusalem, and we all know uh, what he's headed for. Uh, he is about to be brutally tortured and murdered uh, for our sake. He's going to be sacrificed uh, for our sins, which is a great thing, but uh, it's probably not the most fun thing to be looking forward to. And I would think that, in my own personal opinion, if I knew I was about to go and struggle, suffer, die as I approached a certain place, I probably wouldn't be thinking of what Jesus is thinking about here. Uh, I would be thinking, oh man, this is going to be awful. What am I going to do? But that's not what was on Jesus' heart as he was approaching death. As he approached Jerusalem, he was overwhelmed, not for what was about to happen to him, but to look at this city and know that there are so many people who are lost in it, who did not believe. He, of course, being God in the flesh, knows that just uh, in a few years after he dies, uh, a couple decades, the Roman Empire will come in and they will literally do what he just prophesied right here. They will surround the city, they will tear it down, they will not leave one stone on top of another, and many, many people will die. Uh, and of course, he's weeping over those that are lost and die in their sin. See, Jesus cares for people. God cares for people. And his desire is to see people to come to him in faith and to be saved. And even in the face of what will be the most painful moment of his earthly life, he cares more for seeing people saved and not lose their opportunity to believe before their destruction comes. And that's the heart of God. You see, Jesus knows because he made it that hell is real that it is a real place that it is a real destination for those who do not come to faith in Christ that those without him will spend an eternity separated from him there so let us then as our master and our Lord did let us weep for the lost and have a heart for people as our Lord does so the thing we want to think about this week is, do we realize the destruction that is coming for those that are apart from Christ? Do we realize that hell is real? Do we realize that destruction is, is inevitable, that it's coming? And what are we doing to bring hope to those people? How can we find opportunities this week to share the hope of the gospel with those who are lost? Once again, we're, the memory verse for this week is Philippians 1.21. Uh, we want to <clears throat> remember that verse. That's why we're going to do it again this week. Uh, Paul says, For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. And that's true for us as Christians, but not for the lost. So let us take this encouragement and share with some this week so that they can miss that destruction in hell. 
Let's pray. Father God, we thank you that you are a saving God. Lord, help us to see people the way you see them. Give us eyes to see the lost. Help us to have a heart like yours. And give us opportunities to offer hope in Christ for people this week. Amen. Thanks for watching this week's video worship guide. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out the other videos, check out the uh, song for this week, uh, Hosanna, and we will see you next week. God bless.